This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Here's the latest from WENY News in the Star Gazette. This morning, thousands of runners are recovering from another record-setting wine glass marathon weekend, especially the full marathon winners. On the men's side, a familiar face finished first. Brian Morseman made marathon history by winning the race for the third straight year. The Bath native finished in just under two hours and 25 minutes, nearly 11 minutes ahead of the field. It's his fourth wine glass win overall. So Brian, can you put that into perspective for us? That was the goal coming in, you know, getting that fourth win to be the most out of anybody that's ran this race. Um, you know, in a 35 year history, that's that's an accomplishment, you know. Um, since this is really my hometown marathon with all my family and friends and my co-workers and everybody out here that can support me, you know, it, it's great. I wanted the course record, so I'm kind of bummed at that, but, you know, I'll live to see another day, another year, uh, hopefully next year. Um, but like I said, the key was coming here and getting that fourth win. Your women's winner is first-time wine glass runner Bailey Drews. Drews is currently a grad student at Cornell, but originally from Minnesota. She beat her personal marathon record by about four minutes with a time of two hours and 47 minutes. Even though it was her first time ever running this course, Drew says she loves all the close-knit community support. I think what makes it unique is, is all the country roads versus all the, a lot of marathons take place in, in the city. Or, um, so that was definitely nice and it was fun to see all the, all the people in the small towns sitting out in their yard cheering. You, you couldn't go a quarter mile without seeing people cheering, which was pretty great. But all the runners can be proud that they participated and there were nearly 7,000 of them. Congratulations to all the runners. By the end of the day, a Sayer staple will be standing again, back and better than ever. Crews are expected to install the new Sayer marquee at 10.30 this morning. They took down the old one back in June. In the meantime, a Philadelphia company has been building a brand new one. It's expected to look just like the old one, only with better building materials and more modern neon lighting. We'll show you, all the, new Sayer, we'll show you the new Sayer marquee today on WENY News at Noon. One type of baby food is being pulled from store shelves over concerns it may contain a potentially deadly bacteria. Sammy's Milk Baby Food, made by Grace Lee, is being recalled because it may contain Chronobacter. That bacteria can cause severe and sometimes fatal blood infections or meningitis in infants. The FDA also found the baby food had inadequate levels of iron. The affected product has an expiration date of November 2016 to 2018. Customers should not consume it and should return it for a refund. No illnesses have been reported. And Corning residents may experience some issues with their water this week. The City of Corning Water Department was planning to flush hydrants last week, but they had to delay the water work until this week because of unforeseen circumstances. Customers may experience low water pressure or discolored water today through Wednesday. The city advises you check the cold water tap before using the water. You can find which parts of the city will be flushed on which day by going to our website, WENY.com. And now here's Craig Flint with a look at today's forecast. Hey, Craig. All right, Leanne. Hey there. Good Monday morning to you. Good morning, everyone. And uh, again, we start with some fog this morning. And I can't completely rule out a scattered shower at times today. Highs 65 to 70. And overnight tonight, skies, well, first of all, any showers become isolated. Then skies will become partly cloudy with a low near 50. So let's break it down by zone for you over the northern tier today. Clouds, intervals of sun, a scattered shower will come through. High temperatures 65 to 70. Going for a high of about uh, 67 or 68 for Elmira. And Corning, clouds, some breaks of sunshine, chance for a scattered shower. And over the Finger Lakes, same deal. There's actually one shower moving near Ithaca uh, as of this update. Uh, and uh, there will be scattered showers around through the course of the day. Also some intervals of sunshine in there as well. So here's a look at the last six hours of satellite radar data. And we kind of have a front up here and a little disturbance. That, are provide, that will provide these scattered showers. You can see a few of them trying to uh, work their way through sections of New York State. So I can't completely rule out a scattered shower today. But then high pressure builds in. And that should be with us for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So some nice weather as we head through the week. But down to the south and east, just off the screen there, we have Hurricane Matthew in the 
Caribbean. And Matthew is an impressive hurricane. I think I forgot to put it in the show. But uh, anyway, I can verbally mention it to you that um, Matthew's a Category 4 hurricane, which means wind speeds of 130 miles an hour sustained. Now, it's going to move into uh, the Dominican Republic and Haiti. They are going to take a beating from Matthew. And then Matthew will emerge in the Western Atlantic through the Bahamas. And then somewhere along the East Coast in this area, we'll have to watch... Uh, what Matthew does here and by the weekend there's a chance that some of the rain leftovers from Matthew will arrive here. Chance for a shower today 67. Morning drizzle and fog Tuesday then increasing sunshine a high of 69. Wednesday a warm breeze a high near 70. I think 75 on Thursday. Sun and clouds Friday 74 so really I mean that's pretty good stretch of weather. Then we get into the weekend and again we'll have to watch how Matthew kind of evolves here and that will likely spread some showers in Saturday and then maybe some beneficial rain by Sunday. Uh, we'll keep you posted uh, on Matthew as we head into the weekend. Leanne? Thanks, Greg. Now for the latest news, weather and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5 30, 6 and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Have a great day, everyone.